Six months ago, Tom put both our sub counts on Twitter and said race to 10k. Obviously, I had to step it up a level and say the first one to 10k got to shave the other one's head. Six months later, this is the current situation. And I got smothered, basically. Long story short, I got smothered. Can we get a countdown from 10? 10, from 10. 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So as I'm sure you're all aware, VidCon London took place at the weekend. One of the biggest YouTube events in the world where you can meet, um, Ali A, uh, Anthony from Smosh, the one that isn't Dan, the one that got booted out of the jungle, Tom GW, Jake Paul's ex-wife, and many more. Sounds great. However, when I remembered the main reason why I'm going to be attending this event, I suddenly was slightly less excited. Of course, the baldening of Tom GW took place. Ha <laughs> ha, lol, funny. No, no, I'm bald. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, bored. Lol, that, that's funny. God, what an experience that was. Oh, hell. Although, having said that, we did have a great weekend, and just like Winter in the City and pretty much every other YouTube event I've been to, a lot went down. So, let's get amongst it. So, this all started on Friday night when my house got taken over by a bunch of wannabe TikTokers. Owen, oh, mate, if you've learned how to do Renegade without looking like Deontay Wilder on crack, then let us know. The squad stayed at my house that night, then on Saturday morning, we were VidCon ready. Shaw, Owen, Brum, me, Scottish, Mr. Fortnite and myself took to the streets of London and headed over to the XL. Now the journey over there would not be complete without um, a game of bogeys on the tube. Bogeys. 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 Dick and Dom have so much to answer for. Now we then went on the infamous cable car over the Thames and I'm going to be honest with you, I thought that this was my last few minutes on Earth. Bro, I'm so I'm windy. <laughs> It was so windy up there that they stopped letting people on right after they let us on So we had to go all the way over there in really high winds. It was swaying like a mother All we could do was just cling on for dear life and hope that the capsule didn't just fling straight off and make it look as if we were filming a remake of Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator This is your fault for wishing this prick didn't go bald! We're gonna die before he has the chance! God, it was swaying so much. It was literally a Final Destination film in the making. And I mean to thicken the plot even further, James decided not to get on so if we had just all fallen and died, death would be after James next. But amazingly, we did manage to all survive and we made it to the XL. Now, the thing that I was trying to keep quiet, the thing that I actually managed to keep very quiet on social media, was the fact that originally, I actually did have quite a big video planned for VidCon, which, judging by the fact that this video never reached the light of day, you can probably all tell that it went down the pisser. What was this big, massive, unseen plan? I mean, to put it completely bluntly, I wanted to get Tana Mojo to say that she was a skit. Yeah, I know, groundbreaking. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I had the entire thing planned out after printing off hundreds of leaflets that say this. Dear Tana Mojo, if you see this, please follow at TomGW official on Twitter and meet this man at VidCon. He is part of the Sket, yeah, Sket, social club for e-boy talent and wants to do an interview with you. Hope to see you soon, Tana. I mean, realistically, it's a foolproof plan. The plan was to hand out these leaflets to every single Tana Mojo fan in there to try to get hold of Tana. If they were going to our meet and greet, we were going to tell them to, like, give them to Tana so that she sees it. However, the main thing I forgot was the fact that pulling off a video like this where you actually go out into public and, um actually talk to real life people. I kind of forgot the videos like this actually require a little bit of public confidence, which on this particular day I was inherently lacking. Right, okay, boys, the plan is working. I, I'm, by working, I mean we haven't handed anything out yet. I'm such a shit camera. I also need a shit. Yes, we want another one. Yes, wait, 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 give me one. Oh, and that's four. That's four. I am talking I am talking about the today. Could you help us out with the video? Hi, 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 Hi. She is. She's somewhere, yeah. yes. If you see her, or if you know anyone who likes her. <laughs> I think it was a mixture of not having any clue where Tana was or if she'd even arrived at the event yet But it also kind of came down to the fact that in about half an hour I was getting my head shaved in front of an entire crowd which naturally was stressing me out a little bit And on top of that VidCon isn't like summer in the city in the way that the main hall and the meet and greets just run seamlessly into each other So I actually had no way of getting into the meet and greet hall I couldn't get anywhere near the meet and greets because I didn't have a meet and greet ticket And I didn't have any interest in meeting and greeting the people on the meet and greet ballot So I had no clue who was meeting and greeting Tana so I couldn't get near Tana Mojo meet and greet. Meet and greet, more like meet a freak. Meet and greet, more like... wait... 
more like eaten meat, which actually is rather fitting because Tana Mojo has eaten plenty of meat, if you know what I mean. Both of the Paul brothers for a start. But anyway, after handing out a couple of these, but nothing really happening, I made the decision to let Tana's image and reputation live for another day. Don't get too comfortable, Tana, though. I'm coming for you next time. And no, not in the same way that Greg Paul probably is. It was now time for me to meet up with Jack Hodgson and finally finish our business once and for all. <laughs> I need this. No, you don't there you go. I don't know, it'll make it funnier when we've got this entire place just full of GW fans. <laughs> Not 10,000 of them though. Let's not kid myself, this is why you clicked on the video. The infamous head shaving. This is where the fun began. For Jack at least. As the crowd started to build up, I nervously waited and tried and failed to start chants on the megaphone. Oh, poor GW. That didn't work. Poor GW. Oh, poor GW. It's just you. Owen had a little bit more luck. This man in the white hoodie! <laughs> he's gonna act like a square! The crowd slowly started to build up, and so did the nerves. Not to worry though, because Big Anti Ant here knew exactly what to say to calm me down. Have you, have you seen hair cake? <laughs> oh shit, what fucking um... Well, it track, yeah. on Ian's head. Have you seen hair cake? You know Hannah, I did manage to blot that video out of my head for the past couple of years, but the moment you said that, suddenly a load of flashbacks from year 9 came back, and I was feeling even worse. Filthy Frank mate, could you have just like not done that. I do not care what you watching this video think of Auntie Han, she is now cancelled in my head. Bringing up hair cake again? Yeah, it's not funny. Had to get my own back by photo bombing her Instagram picture later that day. Bell end. Now once everyone had their cameras on, I wanted to say something funny before I, I inevitably lost all my hair. I wanted to have a funny one liner that made all the people there laugh, but what I said in the end was so unthinkably unfunny that it's disgusting that I even thought that that would get a laugh out of people. How you feeling Tom? Um... Is it too late to go do a poo? Like, quickly, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I reckon you can go for it if you want. Is it too late to go for a poo? Yes, Tom, you have a crowd of people there waiting for you to go slap head ball. It is too late to go and have a sh For some unknown reason, I thought that would get a laugh, but in the end, it was just really awkward. Well, how many subs have you got there? Uh, like 6,000 subs. Oh, you got Yeah, mate, mate, I got <laughs> I think I was in front when we started. Uh, you got done. I did. You got I got done, absolutely. Friend. How got did done. you have that? Absolutely finished. Ten and a half. All right, come on, let's get this over with because my hair's getting messed up now. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. My hair's getting more messed up. Yeah. The dreaded time had come. The crowd just kept on building and building, and I can't lie, I was bricking it. Going bald was one thing, but the main thing was the fact that it was a big crowd of people there waiting to watch something that I was doing. This is an alternate reality. If you were one of the people watching the live stream, in my opinion, that didn't really do it justice because the girl who kindly offered to like hold my phone and film with the live stream. She was right at the front, so you couldn't really see the crowd of people behind her. Right behind the stream was a bloody mob, so if, if you were there, thank you so much, because it made my day. It was honestly so sick to see that many people there, so thank you so much. Pat yourselves on the back. You, you, you represented. Bit of an awkward back pat, that is. Is it better like this way? This way? There's literally no way to pat you. Oh, oh, like over the top. There we are. Okay, that, that's less awkward. Here's some of the footage. Thank you for coming out. Uh, this man's... Six months ago, Tom put both our sub counts on Twitter and said race to 10k. Obviously, I had to step it up a level and say the first one to 10k got to shave the other one's head. Six months later, this is the current situation. And I got smothered, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure, I got smothered. But it was fun, it was fun. It was good. Um, have you got anything you'd like to say? Last words of hair. This was it. It was happening right then and there, whether I needed a poo or not. Can we get a countdown? From 10. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Bro, the trauma I get from watching this back. Without a shadow of a doubt, I have never had this many cameras pointing at me in my life, ever. As they were doing the countdown, I shut my eyes, and all of the cameras were like a decent distance away from me at the point I shut my eyes. When I felt the razor go through my hair, I opened my eyes again, and all of the cameras had moved so much closer to me. Like, genuinely, they were like here, like in my face. It fully jump scared me. It was literally like the weeping angels from Doctor Who. <laughs> Oh, 
I think it's only fair that Tom's girlfriend, yeah. Char. <laughs> Come on then. Oh, oh my god. Come on. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, just run off with a razor like it is. Shit, yeah. has, it, has it run out of battery? No! Oh. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can we please get rid of this bit? I don't like it. I think you should just leave that bit of it. Yeah, just like that. Get yourself a man who can do both. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My life is over. Jesus Christ. Wait, who's even on my head like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick, let me explain something. Jack's razor had a grade one attached to it, which means that I end up with a number one all over and not going literally bald, and it also means that there's no risk of my head getting cut. Owen's razor, on the other hand, had no grade on it. I, I don't have the you look so disappointed. <laughs> So the moment I felt a second razor on the side of my head, I knew it was Owens and I knew that I was absolutely fucked. I think a brick might have actually come out of my arse at that point. <laughs> I dread to think what Twitter's saying right now. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your head still so I can get this last little ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> nice little ponytail. <laughs> Do we say he's bald? I mean, what it's it's Ball. That's Peng, mate. Absolutely yeah, wonderful. There's just a bit on the side where it works. Yeah. Well done, mate. Right. Absolutely wicked. Nice. Legend, mate. If Tom's in reach, everyone give him a little slap oh, on no. the head. Oh, no. Burn. Everyone slap. What a stinker. Tom, well done, my friend. You did great. You put in a lot of effort, and you made a lot of progress yourself. And this has been a very fun thing to do. Uh, are we just going to keep shaking? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as though you have no hair, I have come prepared and I have brought you a present. Oh. I present to you oh. the very first oh. Anyway, that was pretty much the end of that. I was extremely bald, and still am to be fair. So much so that Jack personally gave me the first ever Oh Hell hat. So if, if you want to buy one yourself, you can go check out Jack's channel. It's probably in his description by now. I don't know. Please give Jack all the support you can, despite the ongoing sub war I've had with him. He honestly deserves the support, like more than anyone, really. However, I've got to say, I can't say the same about Owen. And if you're still not convinced, then have a look at this. I realised that it was time that I started making some money back. So I came up with the idea of getting a whiteboard and telling people that they could smack Tom's bald head for 50p. 50p to slap an innocent bald man on the head? You would honestly think it would be a no-brainer to just walk on and ignore us. But I mean, um, the people at VidCon got the last laugh because I was the one who ended up being a no-brainer. I'm pretty sure I lost all my brain cells. Oh, wait, wait. The moral of this entire story is to be a Bambino Becky, not a James Mario. The absolute mountain of the man could have easily just flattened me, like, like, like a Goomba in Mario. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far in the video, then you're amazing. Once again, thank you very much to every single person I met at VidCon. You guys were honestly class. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Master Mayhem, or his name's Sam. He got a lot of the shots in this video. He's a class cameraman and honestly a class bloke. Everyone who I met at VidCon, whether that was at the head shaving, or I met you later in the day, or both, like, thank you. Thank Thank you everyone because it, 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 these events are so sick. Something that I will say is that if you are thinking of going to VidCon in the future, I would say that the actual event itself isn't actually worth the money, in, in my opinion, that, that's my honest opinion. However, if you've got a lot of friends who are part of the community, you can easily have a great day just outside the event without spending a penny. Unless you want to slap my head, that is. We'll be charging a pound next time. Brexit means Brexit. Oh god, did I just promise that I'm going to shave my head again? No, I didn't. I'm not shaving my head again. This is the one and only time that I'm going to be bald. So, you know, make the most of it. But anyway, I'm waffling like mad. Thank you very much for getting this far in the video. If you are new around here, then please do hit that subscribe button down below and also drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you a lot next time. See ya! Tommy's bald. Very bald. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Jack Hudson beat him to 10k. Bald. Um, he's very bald. It seems to be he's bald. <laughs> I wonder why he's bald. Oh yeah, because he's bad. Bald.